CPR is an important life-saving skill. Everybody knows somebody who has suffered heart attacks or strokes or some form of heart disease. The Heart and Stroke Foundation recently held free CPR classes across Canada. It's part of CPR Month held every November. The 911 dispatcher told us to keep it going until the paramedics arrived. Participants watched a demonstration video. They practiced how to use a defibrillator and the new way to do CPR. Uh, the sequence was actually ABC, so you check your airway, breathing, compressions. There's more emphasis put on compressions because it's been proven through studies that compressions are the most important, so it's changed to CAB. Carol Webb was one of the participants. She believes that learning CPR and how to use an automated external defibrillator or AED is essential. I think it's important because you never know when you may need to use it, when you may come along, come upon somebody that needs your help and nobody else there to give it. Manitoba is currently the only province to have these AEDs installed in all public places. Ring is hoping that this will soon be the same in New Brunswick. All the legwork is done, we just need the support to take it through the commons and make it legal because there's, we're not asking for any monetary value, so it shouldn't be that hard to get. Firmly to patients bare skin. If you ever come across someone who needs CPR, Ring has one main message. If you do nothing, you're going to hurt them more than anything, so if you come across someone, push hard, push fast. Survival rates can be increased by up to 30% with the use of CPR and an AED. In Fredericton, Brad Perry, Community College News.